Uzbekistan is modernizing its regional irrigation system to improve water supply to the agricultural sector. In South Karak Alpakstan, gravity is now being used instead of electric pumps to irrigate the fields. A recent major infrastructure project is also drastically reducing losses of a major resource, water. You can see for yourself, here are dunes and sands. Around 50% of the water went into the soil. Therefore, we decided to concrete the canal. Ustan Canal is the major water artery. Before its reconstruction, it was an earthen canal, and seepage was a major problem. Here the primary Bustan Canal begins. Water enters through the right bank canal from the Tuyamuyan Reservoir, which is located on the territory of neighbouring Turkmenistan. Bustan Canal is connected with a network of secondary canals. Their total length is more than 800 kilometres. They've all been reconstructed as part of the project which covers three regions and 100,000 hectares of agricultural land. Here we felt an acute shortage of water resources. 35,000 hectares of irrigated land have been taken out of circulation. We concrete canals, reduce seepage losses, we increase the efficiency of irrigation systems and save about 300 million cubic metres of water by reducing losses and putting these agriculture lands back into circulation. To reduce water losses, the bottom as well as the banks of the 70 kilometre long Bustan Canal were concreted. Concrete was placed on geomembrane, a special material that helps minimise water seepage. The geomembrane is made of high-density polyethylene. Its thickness is one millimetre. It's 100% waterproof. It's used in hydraulic works as a waterproofing layer under canals, and this helps us save water. Previously, electric pumps were used to bring water up to the fields. Now the bottom of Bustan Canal is raised, so it's higher than the level of the secondary canals and irrigated fields. That's how the gravity is used to distribute water. It just flows by itself. This allows the state and the farmers to save around $3 million on electricity every year. We're removing more than 400 farm pumps, as well as 20 small and three large pumping stations, which are operated at the expense of the state budget. Thus, we reduce the emission of CO2 greenhouse gases. We reduce 36,000 cubic meters of gas. We visited a farm that grows fruits in the Elikala region, on one of the secondary canals, to see how gravity is used in action. Farmer Musafar Saparboyev just has to open his gate when he needs to water his garden. 1,600 such water gates have been installed across the secondary canals in South Karak Alpakstan. Muzaffar says that his farm has saved 6,000 euros on electricity in one year and explained the benefits of the project. The ground on our farm was levelled with a laser as part of the project and it allowed us to boost productivity, so our income is increasing. The speed of the water flow has increased significantly compared to last year. Land levelling saves water that would otherwise be wasted in uneven fields and increases yields. It's one of the elements of the vast South Karak Alpakstan Water Resource Management Improvement Project which also aims to increase productivity and sustainability of agriculture in this water-scarce region close to the Aral Sea. The project implemented by the government with the support of the World Bank cost $374 million. The project provided job security to over 38,000 uh, people who are directly working in irrigated agriculture. At the same time, you also have a lot of indirect jobs employment, climate adaptation, efficient use of water. It is extremely important and it is within the government and the World Bank strategy. The strategy of the state is to apply the modernized management of water resources to the whole country, making farming, one of Uzbekistan's main employment sectors, greener and more resilient to the problems caused by climate change.